Welcome to this video. Today I want to go over and talk about how to reset a Windows 10 computer. And before I go over the steps, let me just briefly address some scenarios or situations as to where you would want to consider doing this. Uh, if your computer or if you believe your computer has been infected by a virus or other forms of malware and you've gone through the cleaning steps and it still appears that it's infected, this is uh, a great example as to when you would want to consider resetting your Windows 10 computer. Additionally, if you're getting error messages or something's not running correctly, maybe Windows updates are failing, something like that where you've gone through the troubleshooting and you cannot resolve it, resetting Windows 10 is a great option. Now, just to clarify, when you're resetting it, basically what you're doing is reinstalling Windows 10. You're reinstalling the operating system. And so this is actually built in to Windows 10, which makes it much easier uh, now than it has been in the past to do this. Now, to get started, what you'll do is come down here to the Windows Start button in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and click on it, and it will open up the Start menu. Just type in Settings, and then you'll want to go ahead and open up the Settings. And then when you get this menu, just come down here to Update and Security. Go ahead and click on it. And then you'll have a Recovery option. Go ahead and click on that one. And right here, you'll notice there is a Reset option. You'll just click on Get Started. Now, one thing I would mention before doing this, back up your files. Please back up your files. Most, most of you will not have any issues, but just as a safety precaution, back up your files before doing this. Now, like I said, you just go ahead and click on Get Started, which I will go ahead and do so, and it gives us two options. Now, most of you are going to fall under the top option. Uh, basically, what this is going to do is it's going to reinstall the Windows operating system, but it's going to keep your files. Now, just to clarify, it will not keep your applications and programs. Those will be removed, and what it's doing right now is scanning the computer, and it's going to give me a list of any programs or apps that are going to be uninstalled. Once it displays the list, you can actually go through and view everything that's going to be removed. Just again, please be aware that you will need to be able to reinstall these once uh, the operating system has reinstalled itself and the computer has been reset. Now, if I go back, again, most of you are going to fall under this top option. However, if you do that top option and you're still having problems, then you would want to come down here and click on Remove Everything. Now, it's going to give us two additional options here. The top one is going to be the quickest option, and it's intended for those who are keeping the computer. The bottom one is for if you plan on selling the computer or giving the computer away, then they recommend the bottom option. Now, let me just clarify a couple things. My personal recommendation is if you're selling a computer, I would not include the drive even if you do this bottom option because they cannot guarantee 100% that your data will not be recovered by someone. Yes, it makes it more difficult, but there is no promise. Likewise, if I'm buying a used computer, I would not use the used drive that comes with it. I would put a new drive in a used computer. Once you're ready to go ahead and reset the computer, you just select whichever option you fall under and then it will go ahead and walk you through the steps and reset the computer. Now that's pretty much everything for this video. It's, they've made it very simple and easy, unlike in the past where it was much more difficult. But if you do have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I will respond as quickly as possible. Thank you as always for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.